Welcome back. With Halloween just right around the corner, it makes perfect sense that Wednesday is National Pumpkin Day, and some are choosing to celebrate with a trumpkin. One Ohio homeowner is ringing in the holiday, not to mention the impending election, with a porch full of politically charged gourds. There's Trumpkin, of course, but also his opponent, Hillary Clintkin, and for good measure, Vladimir Putkin. The display's creator said, in fairness, both Trumpkin and Clintkin weigh the same, but Putkin is heavier to represent Putkin's heavier influence on the election. Well, one Massachusetts town is also taking a drastic step to stop Halloween tricksters, restricting the sale of eggs, toilet paper, and common items, all used for vandalism. A letter from police in the town of Abington contains a suggested no sell list for local business owners. Police hope that starting Friday, businesses will refrain from selling spray paint, eggs, shaving cream, toilet paper, and even soap to teens. The ban is to end on November 1st. Officials say the ban works. But Neighborhoods some that were think it that had issues that cars were getting sold. I did it. What did you do? Everything. Eggs, shaving cream, toilet paper. It's Halloween, it's a rite of passage. You know? They gotta do something, they, you know? If you can't do something when you're young and stupid, they're just gonna do it worse when they get older. Businesses that enforce the ban will ask for ID for the purchase of items of potential mayhem. Well, wearing decorative contact lenses for Halloween can also be a real scream, but federal law enforcement authorities are warning consumers about non-prescription costume contact lenses. Several varieties are illegally sold at retail outlets and online can cause eye infections, eye injuries, and even eyesight loss. By federal law, a prescription is required to buy costume contact lenses, but some vendors continue to sell them over the counter. Consumers are urged to only buy them from retailers who require a prescription and sell FDA approved products. Well, straight ahead, do you have a sore throat? We take a look at what's making people sick this time of year and what doctors suggest. Plus, another automaker is recalling more than 100,000 vehicles. The details behind Subaru's recall is coming up after the break.